That's I mean, fantastic. I mean, you fear just... of water can be paralyzing. So that's yes, amazing. It is. So it's you're doing a fun. real service here in, in the community. Yeah, I mean, I can just know she's going to have the most fabulous summer swimming with her girls. <laughs>
my son joined the swim team, Frisco Amateur Summer Swim Team, it's called FAST. Mm -hmm. And so I also joined swimming in Masters. It was one of those bucket list things, I wanna compete in my 40s or something. And um, so the coach, uh, Coach Trent, asked me to also coach because they have about 500 kids on the swim team. Wow. So they need a lot of coaches. Right. So he asked me to be a coach and I said, sure, why not? You know, that would be fun. And then a friend of mine said, why don't you teach kids to swim? And you'd I, never thought of that before? No. Okay. Hmm. No. And I was like, hmm, I like working for myself. I like making my own hours. So I think that would fit. And again, my husband was like laid off from work. So I had like four jobs at one time, actually. Wow. Yeah, I was a crossing guard. I was substitute teaching, coaching swimming, and actually freelance doing makeup for Mac or something. Okay. So do you have your own pool or do you use different facilities around Frisco? Yeah. Well, currently when I started, we started at the HOA pool in 2006. Okay. And then in 2008, I built a pool in my backyard because I wanted to heat it. Because sometimes ah, in June, yes. it can be cold here. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um, and then in t then things were growing and expanding. In 2015, we built an indoor pool. Okay. So now we're year round. That's wonderful. Yeah. Ah, year round. Oh, wow. Okay. It's really great. So what makes your swim school and is it Frisco Swim School? I'm, yep. I'm, okay. Frisco Swim School. Yeah. Frisco Swim School. What mm -hmm. makes your programs different than any other swimming lessons out there that I could get at the Y or whatever? Right. Well, we're a family run, family owned, operated, kind of that home occupation business, just real small classes, two to one ratio. Um, we really teach to the individual student, not to uh, whatever level is the, the, the mom signed them up for, mom or dad. Um, we you know, other schools have a larger ratio and then they're kind of limited to what they'll teach at that level. Do you have any success stories that kind of surprised you about kids who, who learned to swim, finally? Yes, well I have a lot of success stories. You can imagine doing this since 2006. Um, and you know, we teach from age two up to adult. And we teach from the very beginner to the advanced swimmer. So even kids on swim team we can take them and get them to the next coach level. Them. Wonderful. Yeah, so we've had state champions, you know, for fast and that kind of thing, go through our program and work with some of our coaches that are really good with that level. Now, I think some of my favorite personal stories would be the adults because we're really changing their lives. Yes, we're doing a great service for kids, right? But it's the adults. And I have one right now that just started last week. Um, and I taught both of our girls, one has special needs and they're uh, on the spectrum and they're both phenomenal swimmers and mom had deathly afraid oh, of swimming. Goodness. And so she came to me two weeks ago for her first lesson and she was a little panicky because you don't realize when you go under the water it's a little claustrophobic. Oh yes. You know it has that, it can have that ability. But anyway, we got her calmed down, I got her laughing a little bit and thinking outside, talking about her daughter, you know. Um, who plays the piano brilliantly on the spectrum. But anyway, got her talking about that, calmed her down, within 15, 20 minutes had her swimming with her face in the water 24 feet. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. That's I mean, fantastic. I mean, you fear just... of water can be paralyzing. So that's amazing. Yes, it is. So it's you're doing a fun. real service here in, in the community. Yeah, I mean, I can just know she's gonna have the most fabulous summer swimming with her girls. Oh. And one other, one other story I remember is a little, um, three-year-old girl I was teaching and uh, in the neighborhood when I was teaching in my backyard in the trails and I ran into the mom and she said Pat you got to hear this story her daughter was riding her tricycle around the pool and you know three-year-old rode yeah. right, right into in. the pool rode right into the pool went straight to the bottom mom was right there ready to hop in but the little girl just popped up swam to the step and got out of the pool she was fine and, and mom <laughs> was wonderful. like I know that you t that's one of the things we teach. Yes. Pop up off the bottom, swim, you know, always swim to the side, swim to the step, step right. is safe. Right. So Pat, with all of this, mm -hmm. um, these amazing stories, how can our audience sign up for classes, find you? Sure. Yeah, good question. Uh, we have a website, friscoswim.com. All our information is there. All the uh, open classes are there. You can also call us, email us, that kind of thing. We're actually um, booking for, we'll start booking for May and summer very soon. Um, but we're here to meet your needs and try to help you out any way we can. Well, from makeup artist <laughs> to swim whisperer, Pat DeLang. Pat, thank you so much thank for you, being Wendy. with us today.
Thank you. Appreciate it.